What's going on guys? Rise up 44 here on Nelio Gaming. We're checking out the Metro Nomicon Slay the Dance Floor here on the PlayStation 4. We have story mode, free play options, and credits. Let's just jump into story mode, figure out what this game's all about. It says embark on a whirlwind adventure to recruit new heroes and unlock tons of sweet new powers, gear, and tunes. Single player or multiplayer? Let's go single. My students, we're gathered here in the arena of our long esteemed academy to celebrate the graduation of four new masters of the dancing arts. After much training and study, a bold future stands before them. But, as we celebrate the success of today, let us also look back on our school's own past. Our school, the Neon Shield, has stood for years as the epicenter for study of the rhythmic combat arts. We have all made sacrifices to live here, to study the Metronomicon. Metronomicon, that's how you say it. To harness its musical energies, attune ourselves to it and wield it together as a force for good. As you all know, the recent years have not been easy for us. Mysterious corruptions to the land crash down around us in rising numbers with greater frequency. Blaring bizarre musics, attracting vile monsters, and destroying peaceful towns. While the nation of Versa recedes to the west in fear, we alone choose to study this music in the hopes of finding its cause. And so it has been my great privilege to found this school Train you students to put an end to these oddities and bring peace. Absolutely epic. The biggest moment of our lives and all these lucky people get to see it. You know we're going to be famous after this, right? Traveling the world in constant demand. Violet at my side together forever. <sighs> I know, right? All four of us, Clark. Finally, an official team. We'll get to cut loose, fight all sorts of weird monsters, and blow up, like, everything. A parade of bad guys just waiting in line to be blown up. The saving the day, the adventures, the food. Um, Wade, don't you guys think we should be paying attention to Grandmaster? It's the middle of our own graduation. <clears throat> Gwen, as I was saying, before I can assign you your first missions, you'll all need to go through your final exam. This is the last time I'll be here to hold your hands, so pay attention now. Interesting. Welcome everyone to your final exam. I am terrible, terrible at, the, at rhythm games, so this is probably going to go really bad. What do we got to do here? To begin, try moving the spotlight to Gwen, the protector of your team. Use L1 and R1. Okay. Gwen specializes in stunning the enemy and decreasing the damage your party might take. Show us how to use a primary ability. Try using Bash upon your foe to damage him and skip his turn. Use the D-pad and X circle square triangle to hit the arrows in time. Okay, all right, I get it. Sorry, sorry, sorry if that hurt. Perfect, you just cast the first of your primary abilities. You can cast these abilities whenever you wish by channeling consecutive consecutive notes on a track. Notice that notes have temporarily stopped coming down the, this lane. Gwen will need time to recover before her next attack. Every attack is imbued with a different element, so two is each enemy both weak to and resistant to some element. I don't know what that means. This fiend, for example, is earth elemental. 
This means that the fire abilities cause more damage and that earth abilities cause less, okay? 10%, 150% damage to weaker elements, 50% damage to same element, 125% damage for physical versus physical. Okay. Violet, you're up. You've been working on a fire ability as your tier 2 spell. Let's give that a shot. Okay. Hee hee, yeah. My first real life explosion. Yes, yes, yes. Give me that dance floor. The length for which you can chain your dance notes will determine which spell you cast. Dance past the blue region and you get your tier 1. Red is tier 2 and beyond that lies your tier 3. Just move the spotlight or let a note go by to cast the prepared spell. There is no penalty for moving between your dance tracks. The longer you channel any spell, the more potent it becomes. Equip a spell to tier 1 to make it easier to cast, or to tier 3 for more massive power boost. There's no such thing as a ways to beat. Now, unlike primary abilities, secondary abilities will activate automatically no matter who in your party chooses to dance. Some secondary abilities require a number of successful beats. More powerful ones may require that those beats all be in a row. Wade, you for example, your equipped secondary ability headbutt will physically attack each time the party has given a number of beats, no matter who may be dancing at that time. Yeah. Murder Owl. Your health has just been reduced by an enemy. You've been attacked. You'll need to work together to repair the damage and fight back. Use L1 or R1 to select Clark's track. How do I do that? How do I do that? How do I do two at once? I don't get that. Oh, I get it. Okay. Okay, I get it now. Uh, the D-pad and... So, up on the D-pad is the same as triangle. I get it now. I have no rhythm at all. That leaves one last feat to be performed. Fantastic, you are each feeding off of each other's musical energies and performing as a real team. There is, There are many new primary and secondary abilities to be learned, but these are a great practice place to start. Use all the powers at your disposal and defeat the creature of the night. Okay. Sandy, use your powers as a team and we'll get to the bottom of these parties in no time. The test is over and you, you're more than passed. And you more than passed. Alright, so we graduated. Like I said, I'm terrible at rhythm games. It's no like, big deal, Pops. Awful. We're just the best dancers ever. Clark? <laughs> Maybe one day, my boy. For now, though, you have your first assignment to carry out. As you are all well aware... Our primary mission is the investigation and cessation of these mysterious dance phenomena. It is only by mastering the same forces from which these dangers have spawned that we have any chance to do battle with these monsters, fiends, and party animals. And so, it is fortuitous timing that the latest of these parties has just sprung up nearby. Go forth. Take our Metronomicon. To the Wild Forest. Subdue this unholy revelry. And return safety to our land. And had magically curse some trolls too, right? Curse and eat them all? 
<laughs> Wooker Splode made a few violent. Interesting. How to play. Adventure. Adventure it is. Press R1 to modify your team. is all about what this first adventure is all about let's see what this first adventure is all about so it's gonna flag okay so right here inside it says YouTube right there and this one too says YouTube next to it that means that YouTube will flag me for copyright if I play these tracks so we're gonna skip those let's go with the first one no oh, we got a monkey looking dude How is this not going to get flagged? This is a popular song. Alright, we got rid of the first guy. Now we got another one. See ya. What is this thing? Let's go again. song ends and that's it. Bandit wraps. You suddenly miss your mummy. For some reason, I think I may have read this wrong. 
Like this one right here. See, no, I don't think I did. Because it's got them muted. It's got these two songs right here muted. So that leads me to believe that those songs will be flagged if I play them. Now, I go over one of these songs. Maybe that song, Live It Up, Shiny Toy Guns. Maybe that just sounded like a song that I've heard before that, you know, sounds popular, but maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it's one of the freebies on YouTube. I don't know. Whatever. We're going to play it, and if it gets flagged, it gets flagged, and I just won't. Whatever. Not a huge deal. You all right? See ya, two-headed whatever the hell you are. So the reason why I'm able to keep up with this is because it's not going too fast. But I definitely struggle when rhythm games go too fast. You have unlocked your first side quest. Play previously beaten songs in new ways to complete to compete against online scoreboards. Okay. Just hear this song. We did just hear this song.
Let's get back in the action. Failed. That's my first fail, huh? I don't understand why it fails, but it's my first fail. It's okay. You win some, you lose some. What can I say? It's an interesting game. I'll jump back in. I want to get on them scoreboards. Why not? I did want to just take a quick look at it, see what the game's all about. That's going to do it for my first gameplay. Look at the Metronomicon here on the PlayStation 4. I appreciate you watching on Nelio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nelio Gaming. And please consider subscribing to me on Nelio Gaming. So like I was saying, it's, it's an interesting game. It's fun. I'm terrible at rhythm games, but this one I'm actually doing pretty decent at, which makes me want to play a little bit more until they just get super hard and I can't play anymore. Um, so yeah, this game is by Akupara Games, and they did a good job. It's interesting, and I am going to play more. If you want to see more gameplay, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.